Did you know that Americans consume around 100 acres of pizza each day or 350 slices per second? Imagine that's more than three football fields of pizza every single day. This morsel of trivia is not merely a testament to America's love for pizza, but illustrates its global popularity. From New York to Naples, Tokyo to Toronto, pizza is a universally beloved dish, transcending borders and cultures. So, what makes this dish so universally adored? Let's delve into its history. Imagine ancient Greeks and Romans sitting in their homes enjoying slices of bread topped with oils and local spices. This may not sound like the pizza we know and love today, but it's important to note that these early bread dishes were indeed the precursors to modern pizza. In the bustling piazzas and narrow alleyways of ancient Greece and Rome, the locals enjoyed these hearty bread-based meals. These were simple, easy-to-make dishes that utilized readily available ingredients like olive oil, local herbs, and spices. These were served on slices of bread, much like the pizza crust we are familiar with today. As we fast forward to the 16th century, a significant event occurred that would change the face of pizza forever. The year was 1522, and the tomato, a fruit native to the Americas, had just been introduced to Europe. Initially, Europeans were skeptical of this strange new fruit. But, over time, the tomato began to win over the hearts and stomachs of Italians. In Naples, a city known for its love of food and innovation, the first Italian pizza was born. This pizza was a simple yet delicious combination of flatbread, tomatoes, oil, and spices. It was a hit amongst the locals and quickly gained popularity. This was the birth of what we now recognize as the classic margarita pizza. But pizza was not just a food for the wealthy or the elite. It was a staple in the diets of the working class and the peasants. It was affordable, filling, and could be made with a variety of ingredients, making it a versatile and practical dish. By the 17th century, a special kind of baker emerged in Italy. These were not your ordinary bakers. They were pizza craftsmen, perfecting the art of pizza making and serving up delicious piping hot pizzas for the hard-working Italian peasants. These bakers played a crucial role in propagating the popularity of pizza across Italy and eventually the world. By the 17th century, a special kind of baker emerged in Italy, crafting pizzas for the peasants. And thus, the humble pizza began its journey to global fame. E crafting a pizza is an art. The canvas, a round of dough made from high-protein hard wheat flour, known in Italy as Tipo du Zero. This isn't your ordinary flour, it's a special kind that gives our pizza crust that coveted balance of chewy and crisp. We begin by mixing natural yeast, a starter, salt, water, and a drizzle of olive oil. This combination might seem simple, but it's these humble ingredients that create the backbone of our pizza. The yeast and starter work their magic, creating a fermentation process that will give the dough its unique flavor and texture. The salt enhances the taste, the water hydrates, and the olive oil adds a subtle hint of fruitiness. Once mixed, we knead the dough by hand. There's something undeniably satisfying about the process, feeling the dough transform from a sticky mess into a smooth elastic ball under your palms. But the dough isn't ready just yet. It needs a rest, a good two-hour nap to allow the yeast to do its job, helping the dough rise and develop those beautiful air pockets. After this rest, we divide the dough into balls and let them take a longer rest, about eight hours. This long fermentation period is key to developing a flavorful and easily digestible crust. When the dough has rested enough, it's time to stretch it into our pizza base. We begin with our fingers, gently pressing into the dough, moving from the center outwards. Then we use our palms, stretching and pulling until we have a round base, about 3 to 4 millimeters thick and 31 to 32 centimeters in diameter. We've now set the stage for our toppings. Now that we have our canvas, it's time to paint our masterpiece with tomato sauce or its creamy white alternative. This is where the real fun begins, where we transform this simple round of dough into a culinary work of art. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of our pizza dough, the foundation of our delicious creation. The beauty of pizza lies in its versatility. Almost any ingredient can grace its surface. But today, let's stick with a classic combination, sausage, tomatoes, and mozzarella cheese. The magic of pizza toppings is in their layering. Start with a generous spread of tomato sauce, or perhaps a white cream sauce if you're feeling adventurous. Now, let's add the sausage, thinly sliced and evenly distributed. Next comes the tomatoes, fresh and juicy, cut into uniform slices for that perfect bite. And of course, we can't forget the cheese, 
A generous sprinkle of mozzarella and a dusting of parmesan melting beautifully to bind everything together in a delicious harmony. Now, to the oven. The traditional method is to use a wood-fired Pompeian oven, a dome-shaped marvel that distributes heat evenly, reaching temperatures between 370 to 400 degrees Celsius. The result? A perfect pizza in just about 90 seconds. Don't worry if you don't have one of these at home. Your kitchen oven can do the job just as well. Preheat your oven to a high temperature, around 250 to 275 degrees Celsius, to mimic the conditions of the Pompeian oven. Slide your pizza onto a hot pizza stone or a sturdy baking sheet and bake for 8 to 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it though, you're looking for a golden crust and bubbling cheese. And then, the moment of truth, pulling the pizza from the oven. The crust is crisp, the cheese is tantalizingly gooey, and the aroma, oh the aroma, is simply intoxicating. But the real test, as always, is in the tasting. Carefully cut into your creation, serving up a slice bursting with flavor. The crunch of the crust, the tang of the tomato, the richness of the sausage, and the creaminess of the cheese, all coming together in one mouthful. It's a symphony of flavors and textures, a testament to your hard work and the enduring appeal of this simple yet satisfying dish. As they say in Italy, delizioso. So there you have it, the journey of pizza from ancient bread to a global culinary phenomenon. We've traced its roots back to the ancient Greeks and Romans, and followed it to Naples, where tomatoes sparked the creation of the Italian pizza. We've delved into the art of pizza making, from the carefully crafted dough to the selection of toppings and the swift baking process. Give pizza making a try at home, it might just be the tastiest history lesson you've ever had. This is Carl, signing off. Stay lucky, and ciao!